Hey, Math 8 students. So this next Khan Academy is called Using the Pythagorean Theorem to Find the Area. Okay, so what we need to do on this first shape here is we have to find the shape of this. Notice basically how I break this down into, I break this down into a right triangle here, and then I break this down into a rectangle. So we just simply need to find the area of both of those and add them together. Okay, so for the right triangle, you notice we have the long side of 15 and the short side of 12, and we need to try and find this little short side right here. <clears throat> so, because we're given the long side, we need to not do the a squared plus b squared is c squared, but rather do c squared minus a squared equals b squared. So, when we do that, c squared minus a squared equals b squared, we will plug in the long side of 15 and square it. We have the shorter side right here given of 12. We'll square that. So, 15 squared is 225. 12 squared is 144. We subtract those, we get 81, and then we take the square root of that and we get 9. So we know that this short side right over here is 9. Okay? Now, how do you find the area of a triangle? Okay? The triangle is simply 1 half times your base times your height. Your base is this number, the 9. The height is this number. The 15 is a slant height. It doesn't matter. So, 1 half... 9 times 12, so 9 times 12 is 108, and then half of 108 is 54, so that's the area of the triangle. And then we need to find the area of the rectangle, and the rectangle is just simply base times height. We know if this height here is 12, then the height over here has to be 12 as well, so 2 times 12 is 24. We simply take the 24 or the 54, we add them together, and we get 78. Okay, let's do a couple more of these. This shape right here, you're going to notice we've got a right triangle here. We literally have a right triangle on this side as well, right here. Okay, And then we have this one. Well, if this side here is 4 all the way to this line, and this one already tells us to the dotted edge it's 3, then we know that this is a length of 1 right here, and we've got to find the slant height right here. So we're going to use this right triangle of the slant height is 5, one of the sides is 3, so again we will do the c squared minus a squared equals b squared, 5 squared minus 3 squared, 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, 25 minus 9 is 16, square root of 16 is 4, so we know the height of this is 4. Now we have two triangles and a rectangle to find the area of, and then add them together. So for this first triangle right here, okay, we simply take one half of the base times the height. The base is 3. The height is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. Half of 12 is 6. Since this triangle here is identical to this one, we're just going to do the triangle a second time. Okay, right here. Do that a second time. It's the exact same thing. And then we have the rectangle, which is a 1 by 4 rectangle. So 1 times 4 is 4. We add the 6, the 4, and the 6 together, and we get 20. No, I'm sorry, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16, not 20. There you go. All right, finally, last one. This one looks easy. It looks like all we have to do is just base times take 1 half base times height, and we got there. The problem is we don't know the height of this, okay? So we need to find the height of this. In order to do that, notice when I draw a straight line down, a straight line over, it makes a Pythagorean Theorem right triangle. If the length of this whole edge all the way across is 8, and this line comes down in the middle, then we know that this line right here is a length of 4. So again, we can do the c squared minus uh, a squared. So we've got 5 for the long edge, 4 for the short edge. 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16, 25 minus 16 is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So we know that the height of this is 3. Okay, so then we can either do our triangle one of two ways. We can either take this right triangle and add it to this right triangle, which is I think what I did. Yep, 3 times 4 is 12, half of that 6, and I had two right triangles, so I did it twice. Or you could have just done 8 times 3 is 24, and half of 24 is 12. Either way, it works just fine. So your answer is 12. That's all there is to it, guys. Good luck. Bye-bye.